guys, Captain Orion, guys for a big game. I'm going to show you today how to do a hollow core splice uh, with the Momoi Diamond Braid, 200 pound, and I'm going to insert the 125 pound Bull Buster monofilament inside of the Diamond Braid. It's uh, way better than having a knot or anything because uh, it doesn't get caught on your eyes of the rod or your roller guides. It just slides right through, unlike doing a double uni or something like that. Um, so one of the tools you definitely need to have is this needle Momoi makes. It's about 20 bucks for just this needle. Um, it's hollow at the back end. And uh, you can insert the monofilament, which this is 125 pound bull buster. And it fits right into this select size needle. And put it in there about five inches into the needle. Once you got that, uh, you want to take the Momoi you can use any hollow core, but I like Momoi. Um, and I got about 700 yards of 200 on my Daiwa C line 50 wide. Make sure you have a nice clean cut edge. On here. And then you take the needle. And you, in the end you're going to want to get at least 6 feet of the monofilament into this braid. And you take the tip of the needle and you just kind of push apart the Momoi and it'll eventually, it'll just start sliding right in. So it's much faster than if you were just using a, you know, shoving the monofilm into it. It could take hours to do it that way and this way it takes minutes. Um, you want to get about 10 feet in there, and this is stronger than any knot. It's like a Chinese finger trap. And I've used it to haul on Goliath group rough straight off the bottom in 100 feet of water to beat shark fishing. It's all, I mean, it's, it's the best way to go. Okay, so right now I'm about uh, two feet into it. It's taking me about 30 seconds. I'm going to cut the video here and get it a little farther, and I'll show you how far along I am in about five minutes, okay? Okay, so now I've gotten about about 10 feet into it, um, and once you get about this far, this is all you really need to do. You probably only need to do about 6, but I'm going to do 10 for safety, maybe a little more. Um, i got a little candle here, and what we're going to do is light the candle, let it, some wax build up, blow the candle out, and then you can just dip the end here where it's split apart in wax. You can use super glue. Anything really, it's, all it's doing is holding the, uh, it's keeping the uh, Momoi from fraying. So the wax works really well. Super glue works better. Um, but, so I'll light that up. And we'll let that try and melt some wax for a little bit. I'm going to keep doing this. And I mean, in about five minutes, I've gotten you know, at least 10 feet in here. And if you ever tried doing it without uh, the the needle, it could take it could take you hours to do that. So, I mean, definitely that needle is a really good investment if you're going to be running hollow core all the time or diamond braid. Um, so, I mean, just in that amount of time there, I just did about a foot. So. All right, now once you get a little bit of the wax melting, pretty much good to go. But you're going to want to make sure that you pull the slack out of the out of the braid so that you're getting so that the wax is all the way at the end where it normally would be. And as you can see, I got six feet there, and then a definite another four feet there. So we're about ten feet in. That's all you ever would ever need to do. And you blow the candle out, make sure you do that. And just dip the line in there. Then tap it, try and. And that's just going to stop it from fraying. You can use super glue too, but super glue gets kind of hot when it's drying, so I don't know if it affects the property of the line. Um, and that's it, and then you just reel it onto the line, onto the reel. Thanks for watching, and. Uh, 
please subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos. Thanks.